hi everyone welcome to my channel as you can see my hair is out i am miss cb london my hair before i started trimming i stretched out with hair bands now i've divided my hair into six sections two at the front and four at the back like i said i stretched it out by doing plaits and with hair bands as well this has been a long video this was a hard video I did not enjoy trimming my hair on this occasion I don't know why maybe because I changed my technique of how I trimmed my hair to see how it goes and plus because I've been seeing other videos and everything and I thought oh let me just try this way but yeah as you can see I'm just combing through the hair is stretched out like I said and I'm just watching, dividing this into a smaller section so I can start the trimming process. Make sure you've got hair bands, make sure you've got a comb and you use a cutting, a hair cutting scissors. Not a standard ordinary scissors, but a hair cutting scissors. This comb I got from an event. It was useful because one side you can see the teeth were spaced and the other side the teeth was not spaced a lot so you can just make sure you're combing through your hair properly and effectively and this is my technique right here as you can see i comb to a certain point at the end of my hair i use the scissors and i trim underneath my fingers the ends of my hair just like that simple straightforward but i think because how i did it this time it just took like over an hour i didn't really 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 want to trim my hair but i knew i had to because my ends was knotty and bad and it has been a long time since i have trimmed my hair as well it looks like a lot but it's only one inch yes i know one inch surprisingly last time i took off two inches but that was last year time has flown by so quickly as well but yeah on to cutting the second bit of my hair yes there's more legit and i sped up the video as well so next cut snip snip there you go i think i knew where to cut because like i said the ends are knotty so when i combed through you know when the, it's hard to comb at the ends that is my point to know where to trim and that's what I did and it was awkward I think I should have done this off camera because it would have been more easier but I filmed this as well and it was like I said I didn't enjoy trimming my hair this time <laughs> but I did it for the camera but like I, I didn't I didn't enjoy it at all but yeah on to the next section like i said this is a long video so if you want to watch it all it's up to you if you want to just learn some tips and stuff like that it's up to you as well but i thought let me just put this on my channel anyway to show another way on how to trim your natural hair and it's useful as well so yeah how is your natural hair journey going people that are watching that have natural type 4 or type 3 hair that understand the struggle when having these types of hair i mean look you can see the ends were bad and struggling but i'm here holding on to these ends because i want length but it's not just about length it's about having healthy hair and it not being hard to comb because it is hard to comb as well and there has been a lot of breakage as well because it's been knotty on to the third section yeah i hope this is recording as well and i should have done a little testing testing thing but this hopefully is recording because sometimes i have issues doing voiceovers as well <laughs> technical issues oh yeah yeah but yep yeah. on to the fourth section yes the saga continues I'm not sure if I use this technique next time because it took long. I might just do this thing that people call dusting. You know, you plait your hair or you twist your hair and you trim off just a little bit at for each end. I might do that next time. 
because this was thing and plus i'm thinking to take off more next time as well i know it sounds drastic and everything but it's like if you've not trimmed your hair for a long time the ends is just bad literally bad as well but i think it's like my lifestyle and my you know you know hair is not just an external thing it's an internal thing as well like what you do on the inside are you drinking enough water are you taking your supplements are you eating the right food to give you those um nutrients to help your hair to grow and because my diet is bad my supplements i've stopped taking some because it's, it's like like i said like i said i'm on a budget so when i run out i run out i've got to wait a little while to buy some more and that interruption causes an imbalance as well and it's like you know what food supplements food supplements what can i do but yeah i'm noticing differences just got to roll with it innit? do the best that i can yeah this sounds so dreary what else can i talk about in this voiceover lovely hair lovely life i trimmed my hair on the 15th of june i am doing this voiceover and editing this video in july yes i know a month later i'm doing all these things because i kind of put this off as well i didn't really 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 want to do a voiceover but i feel i have to because this video is so long as well so let me just talk over some of it and put some music in the rest of it as well but hey what are your tips on trimming hair what is your technique on how you trim your hair what do you think about my technique on how i am trimming my hair right now would you do this or do you have your own particular method let me know legit I'm going to try and put the links of previous hair cutting videos in the description box so you can check out how I cut my hair. It was last year as well. How I've been trimming and cutting my hair previous occasions. But yeah, my hair's getting there. <laughs> the struggle was real and i sound tired right now and it's morning time but such is life it's supposed to be summertime it's not summer in london it just seems so boring it's not sunny it's cloudy it's not hot i'm not moaning that it's hot because it's not hot but yeah i don't really measure my hair because i don't really eh, want to and plus i need to actually straighten my hair bone straight one day or blow dry it bone straight one day to actually see the proper length one day but yeah this is a technique the slowest technique in the world my gosh <laughs> i'm thinking next time let me go to a hair specialist or a hair salon person that i've got trust in so they can cut my hair or i use a different technique in trimming my hair cutting trimming i mean the same thing when i say cutting or trimming because it's not really going to be a drastic thing it'd be like one inch or two inch that's it but yeah next time yep eight minutes into this video and i'm still kind of talking i know and you still got a little bit longer to go yeah life right now i ain't even gonna chat about life right now i'll leave that for another video it's all about hair so i'm gonna keep it to hair and tips and tricks and stuff related to hair as oh yeah i didn't say in the beginning but i'm guessing people that watch my video subscribers know my hair is um type 4c natural hair at the end of the scale on the hair type thingy <laughs> i don't know the word for it right now i'm a i i think i've learned this technique from professionals how they trim people's hair as well that's how you see me the way how i got the comb i trim underneath my hands like i say i've seen many videos even um i can't even say her name right now you know yeah she's a big hair natural hair youtuber nafali natural 85 natural 85 i think that is her name she's got big hair yeah literally big hair 
but yes the saga continues cutting my hair just didn't enjoy it i think i would rather have kept the length but it's a thing when you just know your hair is not the best and breakage all the time you look on the floor you see hair on the floor and you're thinking uh even after i wash my hair i'm still seeing hair on the floor breakage and because the ends are knotty i mean you wouldn't know it by looking at my hair but like i said combing through my hair and everything but yeah you see you see that struggle look at that struggle that is what i'm talking about this is when it became awkward sometimes when I'm trying to trim my hair. The camera, the camera, the mirror's at the side. It's how you've, which hand's got the comb and which hand has the scissors. It's a technique. I'm a right-handed person, but I use my left hand for most things that I do, which sounds a bit odd, but that's just how it goes. But yeah, this, this technique, like I say, it was slow and it was long. But at least I've done it now. I know what it's all about. Thought I'd share it as well. And everything. Trying to deep condition my hair more regular as well. Because I wasn't deep conditioning my hair as regular as I should be. As well. With heat. Not just, you know, you put a conditioner on your hair. You put a bag on your head. Nah. With heat. With my hooded bonnet hair dryer attachment i've literally got to remember those words because it is just such a long name for a thing that you put on your head and then you attach it to the hair dryer and it circulates heat around your hair safely you see the struggle there combing through the ends because the end is knotty at least i've got strong healthy roots it's just the ends of the air the ends of your hair in general is the most damaged bit of your hair it's the most deadest bit of your hair as well when you think about it when it comes from the root it's fresh it's young it's new at the end it's just it lacks moisture and all that other good stuff that it needs and everything but yes more trimming i'm only just done this second section of my head i've still got four bits at the back but i think i might end this voice over soon and just play music because i ain't got nothing else to talk about right now you know my brain is just so what is that word i don't even know <laughs> ay, ay, ay. and i gotta stoop down to make sure my hair is in camera so you can see me trimming that section of her hair those clips came in useful as well you know the orange clips that you see me putting in my hair trim 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 and you see how when i trim it you see that line is so straight and everything on to the back one of the back sections of my hair my hair is very very odd as well the middle of my head what i keep on saying is the thickest section the thickest bit of my head the middle of your head the crown that's what they call the crown the middle of your head is the crown the thickest bit the hardest comb shrinkage hits that bit the most the edges the back i've noticed it's a bit thin around the back of my head to be honest but ah my hair is like three different sections right now three different textures not sections three different textures it's like the edges is more thinner the crown is more thicker the front could be better the back there's length oh it's just hard to describe enough for real legit it's hard look at that i'm like oh look at the line <laughs> Oh, but I noticed on the back sections, yeah, I just made them a little bit bigger because I, I didn't have the patience to make them smaller. Plus, I'm going by um, hand because I didn't use my mirror at the back of my head. I'm going by feeling my hair at the back. I'm just working with that as well. And I didn't want to take off too much on the back of my head as well. Because I feel like the middle of my head and the front of my head is the most 
damaged. Trim, trim, trim. Look at the line. <laughs> I'm literally laughing at myself watching this because it's been a month later. I've, I'm guessing my hair has grown from since this, but like I don't really like measure my hair to see proper growth because I'm not really watching the growth too much and just trying to maintain healthy hair. I mean, I do want growth, but it's a thing, you know what? When you watch your hair too much, it don't grow. When you don't watch your hair, later on, gradually, you notice, oh, wow, my hair is growing. Yes to that. Yes to that. But yeah, continuing trimming my hair. I literally can't think of anything. I'm just rambling on about hair right now, literally. <laughs> what else is it to say about my channel hair hair products still gradually going through all the hair products that i have because i've still got a lot but not maintaining my um consistency and routine of actually washing my hair once a week because to be honest i'm lazy sometimes i just put it off as well oh yes trim 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 look at that line i'm so into lines and straightness you know look at it look at that line hey yeah yeah but yeah that's what i'm that's i've got a good scissors even though i've had it for a couple of years it's still good legit it's still good let me just watch how i did this one yeah because yeah there's hair in the comb that's normal like i said breakage my gosh dum -da -dum. Dum -da -dum. there you go oh that line i never looked at i wasn't really watching too much about the line and the straightness when i was doing this as i'm saying about reflecting now watching this video watching my technique how i can do things better next time like i said i'm not going to do this technique next time because it just took too long I'm just making sure the line was straight there. So I just went over that bit again. What am I doing now? Just combing through and making sure the edge, the ends is straight. So I just trimmed again. Yeah. Oh, we're getting close to the end of this video though. <laughs> oh gosh yeah even i'm tired my day this was a long thing i feel tired just watching this video because it was hard work legit hard work comb 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 coming through my hair and you can see the ends is like you can see through the ends because the ends are just bad as well as in the ends is thinner and all that stuff. Like I said, I think I should have took off more, but I can always trim my hair on other days. <laughs> or just go to someone to cut my hair, simple things. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end my voiceover now. This has not really been the bestest voiceover, but hey, so be it sometimes, innit? Legit. We're getting close to the end though. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys enjoy some music. And thank you for watching. Like I say, hopefully this video was useful. Drop some information about how you cut your hair, how you trim your hair. Tips, tricks. Do you cut your hair yourself? Do you make somebody else cut your hair? Let me know. I like to learn. I want to hear suggestions. Stuff that I can hear hair that i can use in future on my hair as well cut 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 yeah cut 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 anyway goodbye